Donna J. Johnhan presents Dining with Donna, a weekly podcast where Donna shares a delicious recipe with you, gives you a bonus recipe, and ends off her podcast with time-saving tips for your kitchen. Her recipes are easy to follow, easy to put together, and most yummy and delicious for family and friends. Donna's recipes are favorites for everyone. They are tried and approved, and she guarantees you'll be able to make them your favorite. It's time to cook and bake, and Donna's waiting to show you how. Hello, 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 and I'm Donna J. Jodhan, your host for the April 2024 Dining with Donna podcasts. Hey! First week of April, isn't it? And I hope everybody is enjoying April thus far, having a great time. Having a little trouble here with my microphone, but hope that it is working well. Boy, I am telling you, sometimes technology gives me a run for my money and I don't really like it. But anyways... We'll do our best, do the best we can. And I want to thank all of you for listening into my podcast weekly. We're up to April. Thank you for your thoughts, your suggestions, your feedback, your responses, your everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it is only with you and through you that I could continue to produce my podcast. Hey, we're going to be going on Apple and Spotify and we're going to be going to many new places where you can hear us, okay? So, I want to thank my good friend Mike Cicello, my little brother as I call him, for continuing to produce my my podcast and for his words of wisdom. So, It is week one for the month of April. And what do we have? What is our category for this month? Okay. The category for April is quick and creamy. Quick and creamy. Okay. So for this week, here's what I'm going to be sharing with you. Baked potato soup, calico coleslaw for 10 people, and for the best of helpful hints, I'm going to be sharing some hints for the children. Graduating from crib to bed, and bathing the children, okay? So that's what I'm going to be covering this week, and let's nip over to the recipe for this week. All right, baked potato soup. You know, I love soups, but not all soups. I love some soups. I love creamy soups, and I love thick soups. So folks, here we are in our kitchen, and as I keep saying every week, It's a marvelous, marvelous way to collaborate in our kitchen, to, you know, gather in our kitchen, to just get together and socialize in our kitchen, to crowd around, uh, to converse in our kitchen, all the different things we could do in our kitchen while we are creating and making up new recipes. If you change someone's recipes, it is now your recipe. But if you follow someone's recipe, it is their recipe. Doesn't matter. You're simply creating and you are carrying on. You are making new things for the family, for your friends, for your associates, for yourself. Okay? The minute you step into that kitchen, it's a whole new world. Crowding around in the kitchen, I think it's great. I really, really do. And I do it mostly on weekends as often as I can. Sometimes during the week to relax and recharge 
I do it. So let's get down to business for this week, folks, and let's see what we got here. Baked potato soup. And just remember, I say this every single week. Get your implements together on your kitchen counter and put out your ingredients beforehand. So you put out your ingredients and you put out your implements. This saves a lot of time and possible frantic movements around your kitchen looking for everything, okay? It, it saves on your stress and it really organizes your ability to carry out your recipes or make your recipes. So gather your implements and gather your ingredients. <clears throat> and for this week, let's look at the implements that we're going to need, okay? Here we go. One can opener. And I like to use the, the battery operated one or the manual one. I, I'm not too keen on the electric one, okay? But it's okay for whatever you want to choose. Measuring cups. One implement for dicing. Measuring spoons. One saucepan serving molds, and my favorite standby paper towels, okay? Here come the ingredients. Three 10 ounce cans of cream of mushroom soup. That is three 10 ounce cans of cream of mushroom soup. Now, Sometimes you may not get a 10 ounce can, but make sure that the number of ounces you have add up to 30 ounces. So it could be two 15 ounce cans to three 10 ounce cans, whatever it is. Make sure it adds up to 30 ounces altogether. Four cups of milk. Three cups of diced, peel, peeled potatoes, okay? Three cups of diced, peeled potatoes. One half, half package, one half cups, sorry, of bacon crumbled. You have to cook it and crumble it, okay? One half cup of bacon, cooked and crumbled. One tablespoon or even one teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. You need some sour cream, shredded cheddar cheese, one half cup of Frenchies, fried onions. You could find this anywhere on any shelf in any supermarket. I love this. Okay. So one half cup of Frenchies fried onions. Okay. Are you ready to make? Combine your soup and milk in your saucepan until blended. Okay. Stir in your potatoes, bacon, and thyme. Cook over medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes or until it is heated through. You have to stir frequently, so you need a spoon for this to stir it frequently. Season to taste with salt and pepper. Then you are ready to ladle your soup. You need a soup ladle, and I didn't put that in as one of the um, <clears throat> implements that you would need, okay? I forgot about the spoon to stir in and the ladle, okay, to ladle it into your bowls, okay? Top each serving with a bit of sour cream and a bit of cheese and 
the French fried onions. This makes eight servings. Isn't that nice for an April day? A day that is, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too warm. It's not too cold. But this soup will go down really well. Okay? All right. Are we ready for our bonus recipe? Okay? Let's go to the bonus recipe and see what, what we're going to offer today. We have calico coleslaw for 10, okay? One cup of mayonnaise, one cup of sour cream, one third cup of sugar, mm -hmm. three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and one half teaspoon of basil. Make sure it's crumbled. And a dash of hot pepper sauce. Salt and pepper. One head of cabbage, thinly sliced. Okay. One onion diced. Okay. One half of an apple peeled and chopped. Okay. One carrot chopped. Okay. In your bowl, Combine your mayonnaise, sour cream, sugar, cream, olive oil, and juice. Let's say that again. Combine your sour cream, your, sorry, combine your mayonnaise, okay, sour cream, sugar, oil and lemon juice and your old bay seasoning okay mustard basil and your hot pepper okay you have to combine all of these ingredients Season it with your salt and pepper. Let this dressing stand for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, you mix your other ingredients together in another bowl. Mix in enough dressing to season and taste. Cover and refrigerate for one to eight hours. When you bring it out of the fridge, you stir it, make sure it's well stirred, and serve it chill, okay? This is a nice recipe. It's nice and easy. It's very delicious. I tried it the other day, and I had some friends over, and they really, really enjoyed it, okay? So there you go. There is your bonus recipe for today, okay? So let's go to my tips for this week and it has to do with tips for your children. Okay. All right. Graduating from crib to bed. Now, what you need to do is in order to get your kids not to be afraid when graduating from crib to bed, you place a mattress on the floor next to the bed, okay? 
put the crib mattress on the floor next to the bed. If the child falls out, he will be startled, but not hurt, okay? That helps. I, I, I can tell you that, all right? That is the tip for the children. And here comes another tip for, from me, for the children again, when you're bathing your child. When a child is past the baby stage and too small for the tub, right? A plastic basket with holes in it is the ideal way to go. Okay, so it's a closed basket with closed hole, a plastic, a closed basket, plastic, okay, is the ideal way to go. All right, run several inches of water into the tub, Plask, place the basket into the tub and then the baby into the basket, okay? All right? And cut small pieces of soap into a white sock, okay? And tie the end of the sock and tie up the open end. Children would prefer this because it is easier to manage as opposed to a bar of soap and children prefer this because it wouldn't slip from their hands okay so try this out for your baby when he is or he or she is a bit too small to go into a tub fill the clothes basket put some holes Sorry, put some holes in the clothes basket, plastic clothes basket. Put the basket into the tub with a few inches of water in the tub. Place baby in the into the basket. Fill a sock, a white sock, with pieces of soap. Tie the end of the sock. And baby would prefer this to a bar of soap. Okay? Because it wouldn't slip the bar, of, the bar of soap slips more easily from one's hand. The uh, sock with the pieces of soap won't. Okay? All right. This is it for me for this week. You guys have a good rest of the day. Have a good rest of the week. Okay? And I will see you back here next week. You take care now and have fun. Bye for now. That's it for this week. Donna hopes that you enjoyed her recipes and that you will take a few minutes to try them out. Stay safe and stay well. Send your thoughts and feedback to Donna at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com.